full spectrum RC here guys um, so I've got the dreaded jam and uh, I figured I'd give you guys a quick uh, not tutorial but I'll show you how I'm gonna try to get this undone I haven't even looked at it yet so I don't know what kind of mess I'm in but I've had this thing apart a couple times now so I kinda know what I gotta do uh, first thing you're gonna notice this ribbon cable I mangled mine when I uh, took it apart another time because of the jam I managed to tear it so I don't know if you guys can see in there but those three pins on the end they're ripped right off so be really really careful guys uh, a little trick before you even uh, unplug this thing I suggest you put it in or, or try to print a model uh, if you everything's jammed up it won't take the spool or whatever right uh, what I did is I went to print a model the the standard one that comes with it and I manually calibrated it so that I could get the arm kind of where I wanted it before I even uh, took it apart that way I didn't have to fight with the motors and pull them up and risk uh, breaking these little pins uh, because if you look here I'm not going to take these off I just want them out of the way but these tiny little clips on the side there aren't very uh, tight or very big and bulky though they tend to they snap I've seen it already so I don't want to pop those off uh, another thing to keep in mind that motor is really tight on there I took mine out and I'm not suggesting that you do this but I actually filed the little uh, teeth on it so that they don't pop out when I don't want them to. Everything's keyed. It's all got a spot where it should be and how it's supposed to fit in. And uh, you'll see that as I pull this off because I'm going to take the motor right out and let you guys see what it looks like. So first thing you're going to do, you got to unplug these two cables for sure I do suggest if this is the first time you're taking it out you unplug everything uh, take pictures beforehand so that you know exactly where everything's supposed to be placed because uh, I already made the mistake of not taking it apart properly so bam right away I'm gonna unplug these you, one thing I found about the Tico is it's kind of user friendly when you take it apart uh, I find it's really hard to see what I'm doing and stick my arm in there without taking these arms off and I'm really trying to avoid taking them off because uh, I feel like I'm going to break them if uh, I have to take off these ball ends so I'm not even gonna I don't even want to attempt it anyways next uh, there's these two little clips one right there and one right here. So you're going to take these two clips off, one there and one there. You just slide them facing up and then the whole thing should pop right off. Uh, I'm also going to unplug my Bowden tube at the same time. And this is what I was talking about. The little ribbon on there you got to be super careful with I'm a little bit disappointed that in the way they made that I wish they'd made an actual plug that I could pull out myself but uh, yeah uh, that being said the warranty is really good they uh, basically it's clicking they send it to you and so I'm gonna unplug this because that's coming out I'm going to pretend to unplug that ribbon cable. Uh, flip that up, flip that up. And let's see if I can just pop that off. That came out. So there is no filament in there. I Actually, I see it on the motor there. That's what's happening. So pull that other one out. Mm 
and the film that goes right through. Okay, so what that tells me is I gotta take the motor off. Now it gets a little dicey here because I gotta line everything up proper before I click it back in. So here we go. Stick my hand in there and uh, you turn it uh, counterclockwise and unhook it. Now it it's pretty tough. So just be careful. There we go. Out. It's relatively painless, but I've done it a few times, and like I said, I filed that. So, as you see there, that's my filament. Now, it does not want to come out. I didn't expect it to. This is probably, uh, melt it all in there so it's not going to release it. Now I wonder if it's a jam here or if it's just this that got chewed up. So we're going to take that apart and find out. Okay so I'm trying to avoid taking this whole assembly off so I'm just going to unscrew these. <coughs> there's a big screw there I found mine wasn't really actually screwed in funny enough that holds in the bearing boom so you see that it falls out so just be careful don't lose your bearing uh, one thing I noticed too is this seems to be wearing out and pushing away which I'm I'm thinking might be the cause of my jams here is it's not gripping as hard as it used to if you know what I mean so I'm going to pull this out piece right there maybe that that could be it who knows interesting that is definitely wearing hmm. so I'm just gonna pop it open and see what's up in there if anything's messed up two washers on there. Do not lose them. One and two. <laughs> that was close. Okay, so there definitely is play in there. So that could be part of my issue right there. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm going to clean that out. So I got the motor mostly back together now. So what you're going to want to do when you do this, you drop the bearing just right inside of there. Put your screw in. And like I said before, the weird thing about this kit here, so there, it goes in, goes in, goes in. Oh, it's not even going in. Goes in, grabs a little bit, but just keep spinning. There's no no actual stop to it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try a little experiment. Uh, I'm gonna try heating up the tip a little bit by hand with uh, my soldering iron. 
and uh, trying to pull that filament out maybe. I don't know if I just made it worse or better. We'll find out. Okay, well, I may have made it worse. I don't know. We'll find out after I get it back together. Okay, so... Okay, that one's locked on. So, hoping you can see down there. Uh, like I was saying earlier, everything's got a key. So, on the chip, this tab here and then it'll sit on top of that just like that if you see and then there's that tab there that locks I don't know if I have my hand on the way the whole time okay so there's a tab here and a tab right here that you need to line up or you'll never get this thing on properly there and that was easy enough to light it up okay clicked her in there we go now I gotta get my tube back on there and this one was giving me trouble the last time But I mean everything's so uh, kind of compact on this guy that I have a hard time reaching in there. Okay, and oh, oh, that was simple. Locked right in. Okay. Now let's go see if that works. Just a side note, I want everybody to just remember how you plugged everything in. It's super important or you're gonna screw something up. Uh, just keep in mind the two prongs on the four wire plug should be facing the motor. It's got two little prongs and that goes for all of them all the way around. And then while well, the other ones they only lock in the one way. 